in this lecture we are going to see the example of condition and decision testing so both the testing together so this is the same example which we will discuss again you are testing a photo enforcement system for traffic control in an intersection a photo will be taken if the following two conditions are true light is red and the car is over the marking the option given are these four and then assume the logic in the code is as followed so this is the logic which they have given but the question is different now given this information which set of values will provide the minimum set to achieve 100% decision condition coverage so now you have to cover 100% decision coverage as well as 100% condition coverage whereas in previous examples we have seen 100% condition coverage or 100% decision coverage but here we will see 100% condition coverage and 100% decision coverage also and the options are again same so now let's try to start analyzing it so this was the code and this is the condition so let's take this uh, table to fill and we will take first two examples when we take first two example this is red again red this is wheels and this is not wheels if we see the decision we get 100% decision coverage because decision is true and here the decision is false 100% decision coverage is achieved but whether we have achieved 100% condition coverage no because this is red and this is also red so both are same both are true and that is the reason we could not achieve 100% condition coverage so 1 and 2 is not our option moving towards the next one so here we will see the first one and the third one when we take these two as an example then this is red this is not red red and not red the next two are wheels and wheels and the conditions are true and false because these two are if these two condition happens then this become true but if we see this option this is also wheels this is also wheels so now we are again not able to cover 100% condition coverage whereas we have covered 100% decision coverage and now moving towards the last option where we will see the first option and the fourth option so this is red this is not red this is wheels this is not wheels finally if you combine these two options red and wheels true not red not wheels false if you analyze now you are achieving 100% decision coverage because for this decision you have true and false if you see red you have red and not red so this is also 100% condition coverage wheels not wheels this is also 100% condition coverage so this is the combination where you are achieving 100% condition coverage as well as 100% decision coverage so our answer is going to be a 1 and 4 so this is how you have to handle condition coverage decision coverage questions together that is it from this particular topic and i will see you with the next video until then happy testing